Today we are going to learn about a basic routine for our sensitive skin type and I know that I mentioned in my last video that we would be talking about acne but I wanted to stay with in the series of our common skin types before jumping into some of the more specific concerns that we may have. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I do plan to cover more extensive skincare routines with a wider range of product options but I thought with my first few videos I would keep it simple and as we get to know each other expand and go a little bit deeper and, and understanding what some of our challenges are so with this video with regards to sensitive skin this will be more of an understanding of this skin type as opposed to breaking down a particular routine or regimen and so I'll start with saying that we have to take it to another level when it comes to caring for sensitive skin and understanding the ingredients in our products. So for example, sensitive skin is very reactive as, as compared to the other skin types. So for example, our cosmetics, making sure that we're keeping our brushes clean, storing our makeup properly. These are both very important because we don't want to be transferring bacteria from our brush to our face. Otherwise, we're just fighting problematic skin instead of looking for ways to resolve it. When it comes to the breakouts that we have, consider the type of food that we're eating, whatever that may be, and try to incorporate probiotics into your diet because they are going to help keep your stomach, your, your gut healthy. And so a few things that you can do, uh, you can drink kombucha. This happens to be a brand that I really like and you can get it from any health food store. I get mine from Whole Foods or Sprouts and there are all sorts of kombucha drinks that are out there. This just happens to be one that I, that I drink regularly. You can also take apple cider vinegar and I've noticed that there is a vitamin in stores now that's available that, I, that I'm looking forward to trying because I suppose that might be easier to take than downing a tablespoon of vinegar. But then you have to consider the process involved in going from the true liquid form to the powder form I suppose. But um, anyway, you can also add apple cider vinegar to your salads. If you like sauerkraut, it's a great addition to some of your dishes. And then there's also yogurt. So these are just a few things to, to think about when some of the foods that we are eating may be causing a breakout. Water is also very important. When our skin is hydrated, it helps to it helps to return our skin to its normal state after it's been under stress or inflamed as a result of a treatment that we've received. So again, drinking a lot of water, it, it really does help our skin return to its normal state. And not to mention what it does for our organs. So if you're not doing it already, when you wake up first thing in the morning, drink a full glass of water, room temperature, and you'll start to feel your body wake up, so to speak. And when you think about it, the night before while we're sleeping, our body is hard at work separating the good food from the bad food that we've eaten that day and preparing it for disposal. <laughs> no other way to put it. So the water helps our organs to function properly and when we drink a glass of water first thing in the morning it starts that process. So if you're not doing it already, give that a try and you'll start to feel your body wake up. But going back to caring for our skin, essential oils are wonderful and, and they're natural. And so what they do is they, they, have, they have so many benefits. They're anti-itch, they are anti-inflammatory, they help reduce infection, they help calm irritation, they're, they're wonderful. I love the essential oils. Whenever I have a breakout, I use a melaleuca oil, uh, which is doTERRA. I use doTERRA, um, which looks like this. And it's your tea tree oil. Sorry there. I'm sorry for the glare. Uh, but it's your, it's your tea tree oil. And what I'll do when I have a breakout is I will just do a spot treatment on, on that blemish. And that blemish is gone within a day or two at most. And of course, this is in addition to your regular 
routine. But the essential oils are wonderful. They offer so many benefits, not only for your skin, but, but also for your body. So I, I am going to do a separate video on essential oils, uh, keeping it focused on skincare for the purpose of my channel. But um, I just wanted to bring that up because the Melaleuca is my go-to whenever I do have a blemish. When we think about the other things that we really want to avoid for sensitive skin, you want to avoid extreme exfoliation, retinol, extreme heat when you're washing your face or when you're steaming your face. All of these things are either they're too intense or they're too active for sensitive skin. And, and plus, the heat dries our skin out anyway. So just keep a closer watch on on those things compared to someone who has normal skin. It's, it's not as much of a focus uh, with someone that has normal skin or some of the other skin types. When you have sensitive skin, you do have to take it to another level and try to avoid the extreme heat and, and exfoliation. When we are thinking about the ingredients in our products, we want to use ingredients that are protective and calming. Some of those examples would be aloe, uh, I know chamomile, there's hemp seed oil, turmeric is another one. And just a little side note on turmeric that I have to mention. I'm going to Seattle in a few weeks and I love tea. And they have, Seattle has, I guess what they call tea rooms all over the city. And they're actually stores, but, but they call them tea rooms. And there's one location that sells a turmeric tea that I cannot wait to try. And so I will definitely be sharing that video with you. It'll be kind of a fun foodie road trip kind of video that, that, I will, that I'll share with you and post on my channel. But I'm really looking forward to that. So anyway, I digress. I told you I love to travel. When it goes, going back to those ingredients, you want to look for those that are calming and protective. So again, your turmeric, your aloe, chamomile, hemp seed oil, and that's just to name a few. There are so many more that are really protective and calming that you want to look for in your products for sensitive skin. So a basic Skincare routine for for sensitive skin would be a gentle cleanser, a serum, a moisturizer, and your sunscreen. You could use a toner, but sometimes it's best to to keep it simple. And as I mentioned before a few times now, I think we have to take it to another level when it comes to sensitive skins, and, and sometimes simple is best. If you do want to use a toner as part of that routine, make sure you're using something that's or one that's organic or natural because that will be best for you but but again it's it's recommended that you keep it simple use your gentle cleanser your serum your moisturizer and of course your sunscreen and i mentioned organic and, and natural lines those are wonderful for sensitive skin and i've used a few that i wanted to share with you uh, one of them is uh, from a line a company called ahava uh, it's it's premier but it's actually from a company called ahava and this is from israel it's from the dead sea and i actually did go to israel some time ago and i brought this back with me the box is empty now but um, it's a great product, and what they do is they have the, they include the nutrients and the minerals from the Dead Sea into their products. Really nice. Uh, that's, that's just one example. I've also used a line called Osmosis, which is really great for your skin. A uh, priori is another line that uh, I mentioned actually in my last video for uh, for a gentle cleanser, this is really nice. There is also another cleanser that I've used by Image Skincare. Uh, this is actually a, an organic line from Image, and it's a balancing cleanser. And this one actually has some of the ingredients that I mentioned, like your chamomile and your aloe. So this is a, this is a great one that that you could uh, consider as well. And then I've also used a line called Carez. They have a wonderful yogurt cream, which is actually a nighttime mask that you would apply for uh, when you go to sleep, and you wear it, you wear it at night while you're sleeping. So just a few examples that I that I wanted to share with you for those of you who have sensitive skin and you're looking for some products that uh, that you like to consider.
So next Friday, we will be talking about oily skin, and I hope these videos are helpful. I really do. I, I would love to hear from you if you would like to let me know what your thoughts are and, and share some of your comments, and uh, would love to, to get some feedback and, and kind of um, understand what some of your challenges are as well. If you are enjoying my channel and would like to see more, please do subscribe. It would be really greatly appreciated. Otherwise, have a great weekend and we will see each other next Friday. Thank you.